What's going on everyone? Welcome back 2021. Happy New Year. And this is the first EMC vlog of the new year. No surprise here. This is my new baby, the BMW F90 M5. So this is going to be the big project for 2021. But before we get into this car, let's just get down to business. EMC Black Series and EMC White Series all sold out, not even half a day. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you guys. And because of popular demand, everyone keeps asking if we can just make one more run. Uh, you know what? We're gonna do it for you guys. So we're gonna do a limited final edition. It's gonna happen right now. Go get yours before it's all out. Now, let's get into this. After I sold the GTR, I wanted to get more of a family car. I did look into the Audi RS6. I did look into the E63 S wagon. I originally planned for a wagon, to be honest. I've never had an Audi RS6. That is just such a badass car. But I couldn't find one with the right condition, the right year, the right mileage, uh, the right KM. And I stumbled upon this crazy beast. I've always been an M Power guy. You know, a lot of you guys know I had the M3 CSL. I kind of regret selling that car, but that's another story for another day. I had an F13 BMW M6, but now, yeah, I, I was looking for a four-door or five-door. This car came up. It's a, it's an Ibanez, though, so that is a 2018, and it only had 1,700 km. Think about that. That's like a brand new car. It made sense to me. It's a 2018. I got it at the end of 2020, so it was a full, like, two and a half years. The depreciation was actually a lot. I also chose this car over an M5 competition because from a price perspective, it didn't make sense to me. Um, I checked out the differences. I think it was like a $700 or $800,000 price difference in Taiwan on the secondhand market. There was one M5 competition. I asked about it, but the price was just so much more that it didn't make sense because this car I know will keep depreciating a little bit. Um, it already depreciated like a huge chunk. So I don't think that the price will go down that much more, at least for the current year. From the numbers perspective, it made total sense. Um, from a size perspective, although I would like to have, you know, a wagon, this is a big four-door sedan. You know, I can fit stuff in the trunk. The boot is huge. I have a couple packages in the rear right now. I can put a baby seat in the back. I can put, you know, my backpack, my work stuff, my work gear. Um, I even have a tennis racket in the back. I was playing tennis today, so it holds a lot of stuff. And even for me, I'm 188 centimeters, I'm six foot two. And if I leave my seat in the front adjusted to my height and my seating position, I can still sit in the rear comfortably. That's pretty badass if you think about it. That's like five guys that's six foot two sitting together. You know, so that means this fits the bill totally. The front seats are so comfortable. Like I don't get any back aches anymore. You know, like I can drive this thing for hours at a time. It's super comfortable, it's super luxurious. And you know, the steering wheel, it's just, it's an M steering wheel, so it's much thicker. Best of all, the M5 is very tuner friendly. So out of the box, it's a 4.4 liter twin turbo S63. It's got 600 horsepower at the crank. That is bonkers. I actually, crazy me, I took it to the dyno already because I wanted to see how much power came out of the box. We hit 570 all-wheel horsepower. Uh, we put the car into dyno mode. That's a really cute function. 
I was really excited about that. I went on Google, I went on YouTube, figured out what dyno mode was. We put it in dyno mode. We got 570 at the wheels. 570 at the wheels. All right, a tuned GTR, I only had 585. This car is about 2000 kg. I think it's like a tiny bit heavier than the GTR, but it's not that much heavier. It's four wheel drive. It's got the BMW X drive now. And what's cool about this is that you can actually put it in rear wheel drive mode. That is really dope. I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun in this, but I don't want to go too crazy. We're going to make it nice and classy. going to be a badass gentleman's beast and that's what it's going to be and because we went to the dyno alan from fi hooked me up with an fi exhaust system with valvetronic remote control and the whole shebang he got it to me like asap when he found out i had the car so i put it on a couple days ago i just had to we were at the dyno we put it on and man does it sound really good I think that we gotta make another vlog for all the mods and all the tuning, so that will come later on. I don't wanna tell you guys too much, but yes, we did add a little bit of power and a little bit more torque, not too much. I did not tune the car and I did not put the downpipes in. Now this is just the mids and the rear section only. The color is a little wild. I get it. The color is definitely out there. This is a special M color. I'm sorry, I don't even know the name. Shame on me. Let me know what the name is. It's interesting, it's growing on me. I am probably gonna wrap it. I'll make a decision, but you guys let me know if you guys like this color or not. Should I stick with this or should I wrap it? Let me know in the comments. Right now, the car actually has a little lip spoiler, side skirts. It also has a rare diffuser. It's nice and subtle right now. I'm not sure if I'm really totally feeling the front lip. I might go with something else. You know, I'm gonna enjoy the car for a while. We're gonna work on this project. We're gonna get this build going and you guys are all gonna follow along. We're gonna document everything. This is gonna be a great start to 2021. Thank you for all your support. Keep following us. This is gonna be a very entertaining and fun build. Stay tuned, people. Be on the lookout for the next EMC vlog. I'll see you guys. Happy New Year.